Hey, what's up guys, Alan here, back with another video and I know it has been a lot of time since I have made a video and I also know that you guys didn't miss me so like all balanced up. So today what we are going to talk about is stabilization. We are going to talk about how to stabilize your videos so that it may look more cinematic and more smooth compared to a shaky video. So that being said, let's get started. <music> Stabilization is one of the most important aspects in filmmaking or in video making because nobody will be more interested in watching a shaky video uh, than a smooth perfect shot. So in commercial area they use some gimbals like uh, DJI Ronin S or Xeon Cream 3 like that small in smaller production you see used to things like that. But in bigger production areas uh, where they are shooting some of the films and all there are like that is another subject so we won't talk about that and we are going to talk about the smaller aspects so there are like electronic gimbals and tripods which is used to study shot then they use like non-electronic gimbals and all of those I don't have it so I had collabed with my friend and he will be telling you about those but I am going to tell you about those information which you need to know uh, for stabilizing your videos without using all those expensive electronic gears. So the number one tip which I can give you to stabilize your footage uh, is that you could use a stabilized lens. Yeah, a stabilized lens actually makes a lot of difference uh, and while shooting. So if you use a lens with uh, an electronic stabilizer or an optic stabilization which is inbuilt to the lens, it will actually make a huge difference in your video. So this is a Sony E-mount optically stabilized 55 to 10 f4.5 uh, f lens and it is actually an optically stabilized lens that's why it is making uh, like a smooth footage so then again if you look at the canon lens in which i own only one lens and it is actually 18 to 55 kit lens and over here also you could see that there's a stabilization option if you just click that on the image stabilization will be on and you'll just getting a more smoother footage so that's the point number one get an image stabilized lens so that it actually stabilizes the video from the camera itself and we don't need to do anything extra to that so the second effect which you could do is to replicate the slider so when a slider is used it just moves so smoothly around so that it gives a good sliding effect so we could just replicate that using a cloth just uh, take a cloth fold it into half and just put the camera on that clock and just slide with the cloth so when you're just sliding the camera with your arms there's friction created between your arms and the flow which you are actually sliding but when you're doing it uh, with the cloth there is actually less friction than your hand so it just moves so smoothly than uh, just like sliders and the third thing which you could use to get uh, what you say stabilized footage is using a tripod uh, tripod will actually give you steady shots at a fixed place but you could actually make the tripod replicate a gimbal a hand gimbal by just doing this simple trick which I'll show you right now so over here you can see that this is a small tripod and this is the Amazon Basics basic tripod so what we're gonna do here we are just gonna flip it this side so when you just flip it this side and now you just need to open up all the legs of the tripod and make it as bigger as possible so when you do that these uh, three legs of the tripod when it is turned upside down it is actually separating the weight of the camera into equal parts it gives an action of much more smoother than doing it with handheld so this trick can be used and one more trick which you could use is revealing shots which are like very good shots uh, to be taken placing the tripod on the ground and and just sliding the camera like this uh, so that it just gives a revealing shot to what we are making so i'll just show you some example shots of these types of stabilization also so here are they so this third tip will help you to stabilize your videos handheld when you're just shooting your videos handheld so let on this camera when i grab this camera uh, you just put the camera shirt around your neck like this one then keep your arm over here and just hold the camera so tight that it is so rigid to move you can see that when you're just moving like that there are like micro shakes over here and it will actually affect the video uh, in post production uh, but when you're just looking at the screen you won't see that much of uh, things happening but when you're doing like this uh, you just hold the camera like this and do very steady shots 
So that's a trick from the three and there are some example shots of these two. So take a look. Next point which you could use is shooting at high FPS. Like uh, yeah, shooting at high FPS like 60 FPS or 120 FPS if your camera allows it is actually gonna make the footage a much more slower and much more smoother than the 24 FPS or 30 FPS footage. So it's gonna help, so try it out also. The next tip which you could use is very simple and it is actually using the camera strap itself. You must have seen this tip before uh, on the YouTube and, and I'm just gonna tell you the exact same tip. So here's the camera. So if this is the camera, uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna line this strap like this. So when the camera is strapped like this, it is actually gonna give you a much more smoother effect as you can see in like. So when you're just moving your hand not so quickly and little smoother like these, it's actually gonna give you the camera is actually very stabilized because all the shakes are absorbed with these two straps and the camera is gonna be very smooth. So this is a very good tip and you could just do a very low angle shots with these and try it out and there is an example footage here. So guys, these were the techniques which I personally use in my videos and these are like all the basic and you could just do it at home without using any fancy pimples. But there are limitations though. If you want like really smooth uh, footage and you're like capturing some kind of car uh, commercial or something, you actually need to go ahead and buy a gimbal. Uh, but I don't have any of those gimbals. So I just uh, let my friend talk and he actually owns all of the gimbals and all of the mobile stabilizers and everything. So let him talk and let him just tell you what are its uses. What's up guys, I'm Garrett Gomez. I am a content creator, videographer, camera operator, and as of pretty recently, I'm now a YouTuber. And uh, Alan has asked me to kind of talk about how I stabilize my videos, which I think that's a great topic because when I'm shooting more professional work or even just my regular vlogs, stabilization is crucial because watching shaky video it's not it's not easy to watch so when I am shooting in a more professional setting there's one of two things I use I need it using one of these a glide cam the one thing I like about those is with my Z cam rig with a V mount battery a lens monitor my rig can get to be pretty heavy having a glide cam can be really helpful because it's a little bit on the lighter side compared to some of the more the motorized stabilizers that you could use. Now since I'm on vacation right now I don't have all my equipment with me but usually if I'm not using a glide cam I'm shooting on a stabilizer but I do not have a stabilizer for bigger cameras right with me right now but I have this a stabilizer for your phone. This is incredible. I mean, phones are some of the greatest pieces of video equipment to ever exist because we carry them every day, everywhere. So now that we're off of the more professional side of things, we're talking about my personal videos. A lot of my videos are shot on DSLRs like this one, the Canon T5i, and it's a little messed up right now, but I hold it out there. It's a little difficult cult to hold this out like that for a while and you start to get a little shaky but it's not a huge deal with a camera like this it's got some weight to it so micro jitters aren't a, aren't a huge problem but um still it's they're there so in the editor is when i fix a lot of my stabilization problems so my editing is done on a pretty popular software one that a lot of people use is really easy to use I use Final Cut Pro. My computer is almost dead right now, but I will show you. So I use Final Cut Pro. The reason why you see all those missing library signs is because I always have a hard drive hooked up to my computer because I like to keep my computer running fast and have all of my big storage off of there. So when I put things into the editor videos, no matter what I shoot them on, unless I do it on a stabilizer gimbal, then most likely I'm gonna put 33% video stabilization onto my shots. 
I think, see, sometimes when an editor is analyzing for dominant motion in the videos, if you have it any higher than like 40% stabilization, then it can actually crop in a lot. But with 33%, I've always found that it's always been like kind of a perfect place. The software automatically does that when you click image stabilization. And so it's super simple. It's really late right now. Um, so this isn't perfect. I kind of just threw this together as Alan was messaging me. But thank you for watching. Please check out my channel. Alan will link it in the description. Have a good one. Thank you so much buddy for actually being a part of my video and it actually meant a lot to me. So guys who are watching this video, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. He's actually having a great channel over here and he is also just starting off and, and it feels very good to be uh, like making a collaboration with him. And he's actually so kind to sh actually shoot a video for me and send it over to me. And thank you so much guys and that's all about the video and I hope you learned the basics of stabilization so thank you so much for watching go ahead and check out his channel and I'll link that below and subscribe like share dislike and everything is down below just do any of those it's just gonna take a few seconds actually liking the video doesn't take even a second and subscribing to that also so think about that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video